Hey everyone, it's Tremia, and I thought I'd get on here and do a quick hello. Um, the My computer, the Wi-Fi and stuff, isn't working up here in the hospital, so I only have access to my phone um, to do this, so it'll be a short update. Um, the pneumonia is pretty much gone. My breathing is doing significantly better you know I can breathe the deal is is they had me on high dose steroids you know for quite a while I guess I've actually you know been in and out of the hospital for over a month now and um, my the lupus was really liking the high dose steroids so when we cut it down to 60 milligrams a day it made the intestinal vasculitis act up and um, I'm back to the point to where I can't eat or drink and when I get up to do my therapy, occupational and physical therapy about 20 minutes into it the vasculitis will flare and you know all the blood supply to my intestines is cut off and it's just excruciating pain so they have me on they're got medicines IV medicines to give me um, as soon as that happens but you know it takes time for the nurse to go get it and that's if she's on her toes I'll get it I'm supposed to get it within under 10 minutes um, one time it took three hours another time it took an hour and a half with me at a level 10 pain and um, I try not to complain you know my daily average pain is a six and I just keep quiet you know about it try not to um, complain you know because that's what it is with my you know that's just what it is so like if I'm getting to the point I'm crying and I'm in pain and asking for help it's you know I need it um, insurance company wanted they approved through today uh, but my doctor said you know there's no way you know I'm ready to go um, the hospitalist here so she's talking to she's talking with my rheumatologist and GI doctor and uh, trying to get things straightened out with insurance because I'm on the progressive care floor and that means they do it's a step in between being on a regular floor and being in the rehab um, occup you know in that unit so you get more medical care on this floor uh, since I have to I'm still on IV medications and stuff so but oh, hopefully they raise my Solumadrol, I get it 640 milligrams every six hours. And, you know, the puffiness is already back. You can see the redness in my cheeks and stuff from the lupus. And so that's where I'm at, just trying to get past this vasculitis. I don't want to have to do any more chemotherapy to get it under control. I've already missed two appointments of starting bin lista, so that's kind of frustrating. But my rheumatologist wants me out of the hospital for two weeks straight before we start the bin lista. And, uh, you know, it's just a vicious circle. <laughs> you know, get one thing taken care of and then the next thing kicks in. But, Hopefully, you know, the solumadrol will get, you know, the some of the inflammation down to where I can start eating and drinking again because I don't want to go back on the TPN feeding like I did in June. You know, I was in the hospital three weeks that time for the vasculitis, and they did fed me, you know, through the port with that TPN feeding.